All right, who's ready for a rebuild here? Okay, we're on our way up to Park River, North Dakota, meeting up with uh, Justin Lofsgaard. He's got uh, 1890 drill, 48 rows, seven and a half inch spacing. Should be pretty good out there because what we're doing is the, the seed boot, putting on some new seed tabs, putting on new discs, new gauge wheels. He's also upgrading. He's putting on a wireless blockage monitor. He's putting on a hydraulic drive conversion for his car. Should be really good. Matt and Jesse and I are kind of in a contest right now to see who can knock these things out the fastest. So. We've got the A team here with me here. We've got Chadron, we've got Josh, we've got Greg. You've seen all these guys before. One of our secrets this time though, is that we're assembling things in the car. So I'm putting together some seed boot stabilizers, getting those ready to go. That is the best thing on the market to fix your boot slop. Josh, he's getting sensors ready right now. And Greg, he's assembling some of the hydraulic drive conversion. And of course I was nice to Chadron and he couldn't assemble anything while we drive, but hopefully this will knock out at least an hour or so of being out there and hopefully knock it out by the end of tomorrow. Okay, we're out here at Justin Lofsgaard's place. We are in a shop today. Look at this nice place. It is gonna be, I think, 90 degrees outside today, maybe 95, plenty of humidity. Okay, here's the cart. Uh, really looks like it's still in pretty good shape. You know, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off these old meters here, and we are gonna put on a hydraulic drive conversion so he can variable rate. Uh, should be a really nice setup for him. You know, we've had a lot of good success with that. Uh, Justin has already taken and he's cut the hoses for us here. So we're gonna pop some sensors in there right away. Greg's gonna get started on that. Uh, today we're gonna be changing out all of the gauge wheels. We're gonna be changing out all of the discs. We're gonna be uh, putting the Bonilla seed tab on the front rank. Uh, you can already see that on the back rank, he's already got them. Boot stabilizers, I think you saw us putting those on in the car, or putting them together in the car. Everybody's busting through right now, getting stuff set up. Should be a great day out here. And we are looking forward to getting this guy done. We got our creepers ready and hopefully you enjoy the progress. Well, we are about 40 minutes into it here. We've got some discs coming off. We've got the press wheels off there. Got all the depth shafts back. Don't let it fool you, I am plenty sweaty right now, even though we are in a shop. Chattering is ripping through right now. Greg putting on some sensors. We've got our farmer, Justin, coming in here and taking care of the, uh, the old transmissions right now. We are making good progress 40 minutes in. Well, we're still rocking and rolling here. Sweaty as ever. Still got Chattering ripping into the discs. Trying to take seed boots out. Bolts have been kind of a bugger down here. You can see that every once in a while we twist them off. We had one or two. I took, tried to take the bolt out, blew up the seed boot. So kind of a stinker. Josh is going through down there. Taking out the seed boots. Well, we got sensors on. Four of the six towers. We got Justin over here. We're making sure we do everything right. We've got the hydraulic drive motors on. Starting to hook her all up. Coming along quite nicely here. Anyway, we are at about 11.30. So we've been at it for two and a half hours. I think we're making pretty good progress. Alrighty, we are taking a break for lunch. Uh, Justin's wife made us some wonderful barbecues and some potato salad. But one great thing, or we'll see if it's great or not, but it's always good to have some rain. Look at all that flowing out there. I guess we brought the rain with us. A lot nicer that we're inside than outside right now. Well, we've been coming along pretty well now. We've got lots of it torn down, but we are running into a small problem right now with a few of the bolts that hold in the seed tube. They are breaking off inside. We're kind of at the point where we've screwed around with a few of them and just kind of have decided, you know what, enough is enough. We cut our losses and just put on a few new seed boots. Some of them are fairly worn anyway. You can watch me bust this one off. And that's how you bust them off. Okay, it's about 5.30 right now. Uh, we had a little bit of slow going there for a little while, but moved along pretty well. We've got all of the seed boots on there. Stabilizers are on. We've got the seed tabs on and ready to go. Not too much more. Chattering here has been working through making sure that the 
Press wheels and the closing wheels are tight. We're gonna grease those here soon. A little bit more to go on pushing out a few more bushings and installing a few uh, greaseless bushings. We are in a good spot right now. We should be able to finish up tomorrow pretty easily. We are just wrapping up day one. It is 7.15. We made really good progress today. We've got all of the seed boot stabilizers on, all the seed tabs on, all the boots are back there. Uh, we've got all the sensors on, all the ECUs on. So tomorrow it's going to be a lot of wiring, putting the discs back on, putting the uh, gauge wheels back on, putting the press wheels back on. The hydraulic drive conversion is really close to done as well, uh, mostly wired up. We are waiting on one harness from Jesse. Uh, he's shipping it up here. It's gonna take and uh, eliminate all of these other wires that were on the drill. So time to head to the hotel. Yeah. Have some supper. We are back at the hotel room now, uh, and we're gonna play a little game that my friend Bob Weinman taught me. Uh, when you're sharing rooms, you play hotel room roulette. So I've got four cards, I've mixed them up. Our hotel room, first one is 121, so everybody pick a card, any card. All right, give it a shot. Who gets room one? Oh, worked for Josh. Who's up next? Oh, Chattern didn't win. Greg? Oh. No, nope, did Oh. I don't blink it. It's registered. Locked oh. you out. It's not mine. <laughs> Try yours one more time, Greg. And that one goes nuts. Oh, well, I think it's you two. <laughs> I think it's chattering and I. 125. Oh, yours goes nuts down here too. Mine works. Okay. Cool. Well. Greg and Chadron's keys didn't work for either, so I guess they're sleeping in the hall. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, we are out here for day two. Time to get going. Starting to put some discs on. We got Chadron still greasing on the way through. Uh, we'll get the wiring harness put on for the blockage monitor, and we'll have a great day here. Well, we've made some great progress. It is about 1.45 right now. We are just finishing up the gauge wheels. We got Greg down there putting them on as Josh comes through and, and rips them down. Uh, we've got the blockage monitor all on. Our harness came in to take uh, directly from the tractor all the way back to the cart. Uh, Chadron's just finishing up a little bit of greasing over there. All in all, we are doing great, about 1.45. And we should be out of here by, I'm hoping about 3, 3.15 or so. Well, we knocked out the whole drill. We got the hydraulic drive conversion done. Thank you, Justin, for having us out. Good time out here. Thank you to Justin's wife for bringing out meals. Uh, we had some great barbecues yesterday and great burgers today. A good two-day rebuild here. It's about three o'clock. We're gonna hit the road. So catch us next time.